Hello friends, myself Vinit Simla. The topic of my presentation is OFDM simulation using MATLAB. OFDM is basically one of the most used methods in wireless technology. Also it is most used in Wi-Fi, Wi-Max and LTE. Now, the base, it is based on the principle of the multi-carrier uh, transmission. Now before we go into the coding and all part, let us understand what, what is OFDM. OFDM is orthogonal frequency division multiplexing. Now, it uses the concept of the multi-carrier path. Now, so, uh, from source to destination. Now, we can see that many paths are possible, depending on the... Uh, now, based on different paths, different transfer functions come out to be. So, if we, uh, we assume that transfer function should be specific, but it comes out to be random. Now, what OFDM is, does is, OFDM divides the whole path into some bands. For uh, corresponding to each band, there will be a carrier. Thus, it uses multi carriers to transmit the signal. Now, suppose we have this data. This is 32 bit data. If we want to transmit it directly, it will use 2 raised to 32 bit Q, uh, QM or whatever we want to use. So, it would be tough. Also, ISI errors increase with a large number of data. Now, what OFDMS does is it divides the data into some, uh, some parts. Here we are using 10 ca uh, carriers as we can see. So we are transmitting the data in 10 parts. Now for each we require 2 raised to the power 4 bit QM which can be easily manageable. Now let, let us see how OFDM works. Let us see how OFDM works. This is basically the data which we are giving. Now using modulation mapping for example QM and VBSK we can modulate the signal into some form. Now, after that it is converted into parallel signals to be, uh, to be transmitted parallelly. Then pilot is inserted to find, uh, basically pilot is used to find the channel coefficients. So, after that IF, IFFT is inverse fast Fourier transform. It's, it is basically a technique to find the discre uh, inverse discrete Fourier transform. Now, GI insertion. The reason for uh, GI insertion is to remove the ISA errors, inter-symbol interference. After that, sig uh, signal is converted into serial form and DA is used to convert the signal to analog form to be transmitted along the channel. After it is uh, received at the destination, it is converted into the digital form. Then parallel to GA is removed, the guard interval, and fast Fourier transform, discrete Fourier is uh, taken. And channel is estimated based on the pilot and signal correction, the pilot which we estimated before. After that signal is converted into serial form only and using modulation D mapping we can get the original signal. Now let us finally see the code which we are waiting till now. Now it is for the transmitter part first. If I run the code for the transmitter part, it will show various graphs. The first of the graph is this one. This is basically the signal, the quadrature phase and the in-phase components. Now let me show you the code part. This is basically the values used, period, guard interval and all that, which we can choose. After that, this is the data generator, which we saw, quadrature. Next is subcarrier generation, which we use for the pilot and other things. Then signal is converted into analog form to be transmitted on the channel. After that, the uh, thing which was not told earlier is the up converter, which is used in case of high frequencies. Now, the graphs, the further graphs basically shows the uh, power density, which we have used as Welch power spectral density estimate for the uh, comparison with other techniques also. Receive, if we run the receiver also, we will get some various graphs, a few are based on the power density and the, this is the signal and after that, this is the 4QM, basically the modulation demapping technique used to map the bits and get the actual signal. Now we know what is OFDM and how to um, uh, use it. Now using OFDM, we can also embed signals and other things. Now, uh, what, I will, what we are thinking of doing in future is to use acoustic OFDM, one of the areas where OFDM is used, to embed uh, some data in an audio signal. Since, uh, since it's very high efficient, uh, very high amount of data can will be em embedded in a small audio signal. So this was all. So, Myself and Singa, and if you need to give any suggestions, or feel free to mail, or you can comment below.